fantastic project working around a digital ecosystem symphony. Um, so I'll hand over directly to Dr. Zhu. Thank yeah. you. My name is Jun Zhu. I'm actually the, uh, from Asia Info to participate in this project to support the champion of uh, China uh, Unicom and China Telecom for this new retail catalyst project. This project is in the phase two. In phase one, we actually done in the current upper last November. Let's see what is the digital ecosystem symphony, right? What makes the symphony? That's uh, our story here. So when we're talking about, first of all, why, why the uh, China Tele, uh, telco operator actually go into the retail business? That's a question, right? Because they are facing the challenge for the traditional business growth. So that's why they, have, uh, they want to uh, figure out some new market based on their strengths. What's their strengths? That is the big data. That is the big data from telco data to uh, allow you to understand the customer product and the channel better. So when we're talking about the retail, in the past, we're talking about, uh, first of all, we should have the product. We have the product, we deliver it to some channel, right? Put it into the or physical store or maybe the airport. So I just, we expect that some user can buy it, but we don't know who will buy it and when it will be bought and uh, what is bought. But uh, when we're talking about a new retail, that's a different story. We're talking about a reconstruction, uh, construct everything, right? We're basically talking about the customer first, real-time customer inside, based on the big data. You have the real-time understanding for your customer, for their preference, to know what they are trying to buy, what's their preference, right? Then we actually digitalize everything, not only just the customer information, but also the product and the channel. In that way, actually, we understand our customer. We know what kind of product uh, uh, they like. We also know who has this kind of product, not only the, for the telco operator, but also for uh, the partners. Then last time, we actually find, we are find the channel to deliver them. Basically, that's a... We are talking about the symphony of customer, product, and the channel. Basically, we are going to manage the engaged customer to understand them, understand their requirement, and find, the, find and match the right product, personalized product for them, and deliver them uh, with an integrated channel online and offline. That is the project, whole project overview, right? So, in order to uh, support this kind of uh, new retail uh, business, right, we need an IT system, agile IT system, uh, to build this kind of a digital ecosystem. First of all, we have those legacy system in telco, uh, China Unicom and China Telecom, right? But we have the asset is data. We have the data asset. We get the data from all the legacy system about the customer information, about the product information, what they want to, uh, what they have been bought, right? And also we, we have their online behavior, also everything, even the location, their location, where, where, where they are. So we got this information, but we are going to build this kind of uh, common open microservice based middleware, uh, middle ground. Middle ground, we have the first of all data platform. We have the data for life from, from all different uh, uh, system, we uh, from all different domain, BSS, OSS, and uh, MSS. We also have the AI platform to use the uh, right arg uh, algorithm, right, to do the customer analysis, to predict what will happen in the future. Then on top of that, uh, we have those uh, microservice-based function for new retail operation uh, platform. Why we make it a microservice? Because uh, uh, for, the, for the business process of new retail, it could be changed uh, very frequently because we want, like to understand in the, how we can engage the customer online, right? So that's why we build it with the microservice to support this uh, uh, operation platform. Also, we have the open API capabilities right here. With this kind of new retail uh, operating, operation platform, we are going to support the applications for both partner and also for uh, internal users. 
that's the uh, architecture for this uh, uh, operation platform. That's, that is also a core competence for this uh, new retail project. OK. Uh, here, we ask, if you look at this, right, this is rice management. Rice management is a critical thing for the, this whole system because uh, when we're talking about uh, the ecosystem for this uh, new retail, we're talking about uh, the partnership with others. How we can make the partnership solid? We have to have the rights management so that the partners uh, agree on the, their rights and interests so they can exchange the information for customer, exchange the uh, product, and also leverage the channel each other. That is the key uh, for this uh, platform. So with this platform, uh, what we know the customer better, right? We uh, also we are be able to find the right product for them, but we still need to uh, expand the uh, channels. That is a critical path to make sure this new retail system can running well. So if we look at this channel, right? It, there are, we have three layer of channel. One is the own channel from the telco operators. They have their physical store. What are we going to do about it, right? We also have the horizontal alliance. That, uh, that is, uh, telco want to work with uh, some company like an internet company, maybe the life insurance company to make sure we, we use a different channel to attract the customer. We also can sell the different uh, service or product uh, right here. This is many the branding uh, shop. They have their own channel. They have their own ecosystem. But we want to work together, partner them with them. Last one is a public channel, like the gas station pharmacy. They, usually, they do not have the IT system or online system. But uh, we can get them on board on this operating uh, operation platform so that they can use telco data to run their business, to manage their business. That's what we want to achieve for this project. So let's see the story here, right? For the own channel, actually, we can upgrade, uh, upgrade the telco store to an intelligent boutique so that we can actually use in some game-changing technology. <laughs> here is the store, right? We actually, when, when, the, when the user goes this way, we actually have the uh, dragging uh, screen to attract them so that they can go inside to the explore, to take a look. When, when they go inside, we have the welcome screen. We also have the face recognition. We can tell whether it is the old customer. Uh, I mean, it is uh, our customer already in the uh, telco system, or it's a new potential customer. So we can have the clicker use the big data to know their preference, to welcome them in the first place, right? Then the, after you, they go inside, they are going to look around everywhere. Not only the, phys uh, not only the physical product uh, in the store, but also they can look at those uh, uh, like uh, cloud shift, right? Actually, you can just browse it uh, online to find the product proper for them. Basically, this uh, upgrade actually brings uh, much better customer experience for user. On the, hand, on, the, uh, on the other hand, we also actually can analyze what they like by analyze their those trees, right? Tracking, tracking their, what they are looking for. So this is uh, trying to upgrade uh, traditional uh, telco, uh, telco store to uh, intelligent boutiques for scale out. Uh, scale up, for scale up. For, for, um, also, we actually uh, have the smart terminal uh, can issue the card later on, right? Uh, for the horizontal alliance, when we're talking about the horizontal alliance, usually we, uh, we know we are going to work together with uh, like Alibaba and also Baidu, uh, Tencent, right? To sell the data plan specifically for, for this internet uh, uh, company. For example, if one user from Tencent like to watch video, but they do not have the good data plan from the uh, uh, for them, they basically the Tencent can work with the China Unicom to work out a specific data plan, so that uh, specifically for this uh, video like video like uh, users, 
And also, we have this kind of chance, right? Basically, we work together with the internet to celebrate. The internet to celebrate usually broadcasting their video, for the video broadcasting online, uh, interact with their fans. So underneath, we actually can analyze their behavior and also analyze what kind of content they are uh, interact. Basically, the video, what kind of video they are watching, right? In that way, this uh, uh, platform will have the AI to recommend the right product for the internet celebrity. That will be the key opinion leader to, 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 to tell user, OK, you should maybe buy this markup. <laughs> you should buy this uh, spot shoes. So they can bring more product for their fans and spe uh, specific for their fans based on the recommendation from the system. That is uh, one of the examples for the high rental alliance. Besides the, the, you know, the traditional alliance with uh, a big, uh, big brand shop like uh, uh, China Life, like uh, Tencent, Alibaba. The last one is public channel, right? Public channel. If you are membership of uh, China Un uh, Unicom, you can get your actually the rewards by, uh, points when you fill fill up your tank <laughs> fill up the gas in the gas station right then later on you get this point you can buy some uh, uh, data plan maybe same card by using their card it's ready for the loyalty it's really loyalty but uh, we can leverage this kind of rights management to expand the public channel so that uh, we get uh, all the different uh, public channel online onboarding right after one year, this project actually start, uh, started one year ago. At that moment, uh, we are focusing on the big data analysis. We are building the intelligent boutique to have the customer insight. We are trying to f understand the customer first. Uh, last November, we go to Kuala Lumpur. We actually, at that moment, uh, China Telecom is the champion. We focus on the uh, intelligent uh, boutiques. We have a 35 provincial store was uh, uh, decorated uh, as an intelligent boutique. After that phase, we're actually talking about the digital ecosystem symphony of uh, product, uh, customer, and the channel. We have the whole operation uh, platform uh, uh, online, right? Currently, we, uh, when we go to the NICE, right, we actually achieve uh, both China Telecom and China Unicom is uh, become the champion. We have 117 percentage annual income increase. We have 5.5 uh, daily pro daily product sales increase, and uh, we also have 1.1 million more sales in telco store because of the intelligent boutiques. That is all for the uh, this project. Pretty much this is already go live and uh, demonstrate. Um, you know the advantage for the telco data and uh, help the uh, our champion to actually go into the new business. Okay, that's all for my presentation. Thank you. Any question? <laughs> Do we have any questions on this project? I think it's really interesting to see once again that we've already shown this morning um, that the work at TM Forum really does go a lot beyond um, IT and, and architecture. This project has shown very impressive and clear uh, commercial outcomes as well. Um, so it really does go end to end across the spectrum with very impressive uh, results. Um, do you plan on doing another phase of this catalyst, or are you happy with these results and move on to the next thing? So far, I think so far the champion is quite quite happy, but they still want to do some like a personalized product, right? Right now it's a sell gen generic product. Later on, they probably work together with the manufacturing <laughs> to for the customized personalized product uh, for the specific uh, group of people. Um, I'm not sure whether they, are, they like to go to the phase three, but I hope uh, they probably can leverage the 5G technology later on so that we can uh, use a new technology to enhance this project uh, with uh, you know, real-time uh, you know, faster delivery, still high efficiency, probably go to the phase three right here. <laughs> so maybe a phase three yeah. in a couple of cycles time. Wait, right. wait for the technology to come first. Okay. 
Fantastic. Thank you very much. A round of applause, please. Thank you.